Hello lovely, it's Kaylee Gray here and I'm sharing what I did for my baby album's month dividers. Now there's something that you need to know about this video. This video I have included all of my mistakes and I'm hoping that by including my mistakes you can maybe learn from them. Maybe you can find a few ideas but mainly, I hope you learned from our mistakes. They're not the worst. I mean, I wanted to try a whole bunch of things to know exactly what I wanted to do. First thing is I bought a second six by eight inch mini album. I found one on eBay actually from a second hand seller. And I was really, really excited about it because they're not available anywhere else on the internet. And so yeah, I realized it's gonna get way too long. So now I am cutting down my 12 page and if you watched my last video you would have seen that I've been keeping a little bit of notes each month for my son and his development because I know in the beginning I really did not have the mental energy to be able to journal or anything special like that. So I just kept an Evernote note and I jotted down a summary of at first was the week and then it was the month. You can see there I've already made the first mistake, which is punching the holes on the incorrect side. So these I printed using Paisley Press Word Art and Paisley Press little wreath thing at the wreath wreath gosh, sounds weird to say that. Wreath thing at the bottom. And I am <laughs> repunching it. I reprinted it, checking it a million times to make sure that I'm punching it in the right place. And I'm using this punch because my crocodile, while it is brilliant, it makes the smallest holes and it has no room for error. So I knew already that I wanted to print it like this. I wanted to print those monthly summaries on cardstock and I wanted the size of a page protector. Then I also centered it according to the page, excluding, you know, the space for the, for the holes. So I was quite pedantic in my decision making there. I also thought about using wax paper as a way to soften it, you know, so that it's not just a photo on white. And I cut out one to be the exact same size as the, page, as the card. And I've cut one out just to go around the photo. And I'm just looking at it. And I feel like the, you know, it's not working for me, but I'm just gonna look at it for a little bit before completely taking it out of the equation. Then I wanted to sew around it, but my sewing machine is currently broken in some way. I mean, I still don't really know how to use it, so something's broken with it. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna get this all done, and then when my sewing machine magically starts working again, then I can just run it through there. And that's just to add a little bit of texture onto it. So these are how they look. Showed you a bit of a close up there. I've just got very simply things you're loving and things you are not loving. And since my sewing machine is not working, you can see there is like a test page. This is on the one that didn't work out with the punching. Um, I want to try out doing some kind of embossing on it. So I got this fancy ass pen that kind of makes it like the embossing ink on it. And so I just went over Liz's beautiful word art and I'm putting the heat gun on to add the embossing. So I've only got gold and clear and white embossing powder. So obviously I'm first trying with the gold. But since it's got black in the background, you can see it like shows up a bit weirdly. So I don't hate it. I kind of like it. But I'm going to try it on the week. The week um, summaries because they look a little bit different. They've got normal regular top face there for the week numbers. And so I'm trying it with this and this one for whatever reason, even though I tried a lot harder with that pen, it did not, it didn't end up looking very good. Then I think, okay, I've got this clear. So if I embarrass clear onto this, then you know it's probably gonna like just have a bit of a raised detail but 
Yeah, I was wrong about that. And if you emboss clear, it comes out clear. Spoiler alert. I think if I wanted to use watercolor or something over that, then it would have made sense. But I just wanted like a little bit of detail. The sewing machine would have been perfect, but the sewing machine was not working for me. You can see that that did not, you know, um, um, so I'm not happy with that and I'm just going to leave that idea. But I wanted to show you in case you were thinking of it, maybe you're better at embossing than I am. Maybe you're better with that pen, but I'm not. So I've left that and now I'm going to work on the plastic dividers between the month. I have used my silhouette portrait and I have just cut out that same word art onto a stencil and these stencil the stencil paper from silhouette is amazing honestly i am so impressed with it this is my first try i had 15 minutes before i had to go and fetch my little baby from the day mother and i mean it, it just worked i couldn't believe it i thought okay i'm gonna try and keep on filming and it worked it was a huge mission to try and get that off but that's okay then with this stencil, I'm using modeling paste um, and I'm peeling this off. So it's really great that the stencil is sticky because then I can get more detailed things. So I'm obviously in a rush now. I need to go fetch my baby. Not my baby. He's a toddler now. But yeah, so it was difficult to get these. So I used my spatula. I made quite a bit of a mess. But you know what? I wasn't aiming for perfection with this. So I think that this kind of got me the texture that I wanted with the embossing powder. I'm really happy with this. The nice thing with this stuff is that if you do make a mess, you can just use nail polish remover and you can clean in between there. But again, because I'm not too upset if it looks messy, I kind of enjoy the messy look. I'm just not doing this too like intently. The thing nice with the modeling paste is that you can add color to it if that's what you're into. You could add glitter, you can add whatever you want. And that's what it looks like all together as of now. I mean, there's still a lot of time for me to play around and we're going to see how it goes. I hope you find time to get creative today.